Look, Benny, so let's say down at the bottom of the stairwell, let's say down there is ground zero. This is the individual who don't know what they want to do with their life. They're clueless. They're just trying. They're just trying to figure out. But they're in college now. And then we'll say up here at the top, this is success. Right. The only way that that individual will get closer to here is through experience. And I think experience happens through action. And I say that because, like I said in my presentation earlier, I was talking about I saw my I had 14 jobs, 15 jobs, 16 jobs. I was doing I'm not encouraging nobody to go, you know, try out people jobs and say, oh, no, nah, this ain't for me. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. But I'm just encouraging the action, which might look like research, the action, which might look like getting an internship, the action, which might look like getting with somebody and saying, well, you're a you you're an accountant. Well, why are you an accountant? How are the hours? What type of strain is put on your family? And if you begin to realize that some of this stuff you're connecting with, you're like, well, wait a minute. I want to be a family man, but at the same time, uh, I don't like math. Then accounting might not be for you. But then you get marked off the list. Okay, that's one thing I know I don't like. And then with an internship, you go into internships. And the great thing about internships is they always seek to add value to the intern, mm -hmm. right? So that they bring them in. They're like, okay, well, can you do this for us? Do this. And then you gain more skills, which can make you more marketable somewhere else. That's another step. It's like, okay, well, I got this experience. It's like, this is something I think I might like. Then that goes on this list over here for the maybes. But then over here with the no's, we're just marking those off. No, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Yeah, you say you did. I tried nursing. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you say you tried nursing. You're like, nah, that's, that's not the move. But then you begin to do that, and then you begin to realize, okay, this is something I like doing. This is something I'm passionate about. This is something I'm gifted in. A lot of people speak this into my life. A lot of people say that they've seen that I have a certain expertise here. That's another step, another step, another step. And then as you go through the action, then you begin to realize that I can be successful doing what I desire to do. And now you're at the top of the stairwell. Success, like I was talking to, I was talking to uh, Catherine earlier. She was saying for her, success looks like her getting a job, having a small house, not making a lot of money, but making a big difference. That might be success for you. Success for somebody else might be getting a college degree. But whatever that is, you gotta identify what success looks like. You gotta identify who you wanna serve. And then even on top of that, then what are you passionate about? If you didn't make no money for this, what would you be doing? Like I'm here, like I would speak. Of course, I, would, I love to get paid for speaking. Yeah. But if I didn't get paid and there was an opportunity to empower some people or inspire some people, because I mentor, I mentor like once or twice throughout the week with some young men in the juvenile justice department. I'm not getting paid for that. I don't want to get paid for that, but I know that I'm helping them. So it's identifying those things, man. Just It really comes down to taking some time and just reflect. And just asking yourself, okay, well, what, what area, maybe, do I want to try pursuing? I always thought about all these things, about what I wanted to do, what kind of life I wanted to live, and... I'm really thankful for being here because he actually shed some light on those questions I always ask myself. Like, it's different to just think about it, uh, but then it's another thing to actually go out and do it. And I feel like I'm one step closer to at least going out and trying more things. And I'm very thankful that he's given me this experience to go and do those things.